Hey guys, Lisa Halligan here from lisahalligan.com and we're getting fancy tonight. I have props. So I want to talk to you a little bit today about unwinding. It seems like we're all so busy these days that we're constantly doing things to wind ourselves up to unwind ourselves down. We're either trying to wind up because we've got so much to do. We gotta get to work. We gotta get through traffic. We gotta get this done. We gotta get that done. We gotta get this blah, 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 until we're going nuts. And then we get to bed at night. And I think my cat's going nuts. He got locked in the room. Um, and we get to bed at night and we can't unwind. We're so, all this stuff is going on in our head and we're trying so hard to unwind some people do it in really unhealthy ways um that's you know when when the drink at night becomes less of a a fun thing and more of a necessity you know um all kinds of people try to escape into tv shows and 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 things like that and trashy novels and whatever just trying to find some way to unwind some way to let go and it's kind of like this little toy that my mom got for the boys i think this one is john's you know, we wind it up because we got so much to do and we run like crazy. But we're not really very effective, you know? And we run out of energy before we really get a chance to get anything done. Because we've been running so long and so hard that we just don't have it in us. And then we get to a point where we just can't keep going like that. Um, as moms, we're especially guilty of this. We don't take care of ourselves. We absolutely don't. We put everybody else first. So we don't necessarily eat as well as we need to. We don't get as much rest as we need to. We don't take time for ourselves away from all the needs of the kids. We don't get in that walk we wanted to go on. We don't, we don't, we don't, we don't, we don't. And so we just think of all the things we should do and we keep winding it and winding it and winding it. And eventually we're just not gonna be able to wind it up anymore, okay? What you need to look, focus on is slow and steady and doing something for yourself every now and then. Taking time to do the healthy things so that you can unwind naturally. Because if we do this right, we can wind ourselves up to get ready for each day and then we gently unwind over the course of the evening or in my case the morning since I work nights and we're ready to go to bed. And we, if we do that consistently over time, we're going to be healthier, we're going to be happier, we're going to be far more productive. But if we just keep winding ourselves up like a crazy person, living on Red Bull, oh God, don't get me started on Red Bull, that stuff's evil. You know, if we, we just keep living on caffeine and caffeine and chocolate and carbs and Red Bull and stress and stress and more stress, we're going to end up getting just stuck to where we can't do anything. And I've got a secret for you. You're not the wind-up toy, okay? You are worth so much more than that. So I want you to think today, I want here's your action points. I want you to think about some healthy ways. They don't have to cost any money, okay? I know budgets can be tight. I want you to think about some healthy ways that you can unwind and some healthy ways that you can energize yourself without having to wind yourself into a tizzy to get anything done okay and so that's your goal think about those things give yourself the present of taking care of yourself because if you don't fill your own jug how are you supposed to pour yourself out into everything that your kids and your husband and your co-workers and your community needs you to be you just can't do it you can't pour from an empty pitcher so I think I've had enough crazy metaphors for tonight. Have a wonderful night. I will see you guys tomorrow.